Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Today, friends, I'm going to show you how to make a laser cut cardboard cranky. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, we're starting here in Tinkercad, and you can see there are five versions. I'm going to hit Tinker this so you can see how it is assembled, and then I'll teach you how to build it. So these are the parts that get laser cut. When it's done, it goes together like that. When you crank these, it moves the display across as a panorama. This little groove is where you link the paper. Friends, let me show you how to build it. Friends, if it's your first time using Tinkercad, I always choose sign in with Google. We're gonna make a brand new 3D design. Step one is to name it. I'm gonna call it Cranky. And I'm gonna put V6 just because I'm going to have another one saved when I'm done. We're going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to tell you we're going to build out a cardboard, so I always make it 4 millimeters because that's the size of my cardboard. We're going to change these measurements to 90 across and 40 up and down. We are going to cut a tiny window into this with a hole. It is going to be 38 across, and it is going to be 24 high. Select the two of them, choose a line, make the red one the bossed, we want it to be centered and centered and grouped. Just like that, you've got the window. Now we need the little tabs up top. We're going to create those with little rectangles as well. Once again, I do 4 millimeter tabs because that's the size of the cardboard. And I'm choosing to make this 40 so that it is reasonably strong. Let's make this 4 so the heights match. Let's select them both. Let's choose a line. Let's click on the red one and choose the middle and the top edge. Now we want to move this out, so watch this, because the nudge is set at 1, we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, we can do Control D, and we can do Shift Nudge to move it to the other side. If you rotate and zoom in, we can just nudge it over there with the arrow key until it connects. When you've got it lined up, friends, all we do is select them both. I'm going to do Control G, which is the shortcut for group, and boom, the face of your design is built. Now, friends, let's be real smart and build the top and bottom with the same pieces. Do Control D to make a second one. And then, friends, we simply need to take this and ungroup it and ungroup it. We do not need this shape anymore. And, friends, we're going to change this dimension to 30 and press Enter. This piece becomes a hole that gets cut in. Since it's 4 millimeters, we can just do 1, 2, 3, 4, and bingo, it's in place. Now we do need to cut out the corners we're going to use for the vertical supports. I'm going to click Control D, and I'm going to do Shift Nudge, and then we're going to change the measurements of this little guy. I want you to change this amount to 8, keep the 4, and then we are going to move it to this edge. I'm going to do Shift Select. I'm going to choose L for a line, and I want it to go right to that corner. And then I'm going to do Control D, Shift Select. Once again, press L for a line, and I want it to go to this corner. We need to add the holes for the cranky. We're going to do that with the cylinder hole. When you bring it out, make sure you make the sides all the way around. Hold Shift and stretch it to Crazyville. But then we're going to type the number 17 and press Enter. We're going to click on our snap grid and change it to 5. We're going to select these two pieces. You could also do shift select. Press the letter L for a line, and we're going to go right to that corner and right to the front edge. Now we're going to go one click to the left. We're going to do control D. I'm going to shift nudge to the other side. We're going to select those two. Once again, press the letter L, go right to that edge, and then we're going to click that one piece and go one click to the right. Switch back to your one millimeter nudge. And this is because we're going to go 4 millimeters. And notice I'm going to shift select to get the two shapes. 1, 2, 3, 4. Friends, you have just made the top and the bottom. If you select all of those and do control G to group, bingo, it'll fit up there. And you can see that's going to be really sharp. We'll move this stick away because we'll use it in a minute. And we'll do control D and bingo. Those are pretty sweet. Just because it's super easy, let's do L for a line. And boom, snap them all. It's time to duplicate this. Let's do Control D. And now we're going to make this vertical part. When we do this, I'm going to tell you the numbers that we want to type are 48 and press Enter and 12 and press Enter. I'm going to move this off to the side. I'm going to click on this little fella and do Control D. We're going to turn it into a hole. 
And then these need to be four by four. So we already have the four here. We just need to change this to four and press enter. Select the two, do L for a line, snap to this corner and this corner. And then do control D, shift nudge to the other end. Select just those two. Notice I'm double checking the two shapes. And I'm gonna do a line and I'm gonna go to that corner right there. Friends, if you group that, you have just made the vertical supports. How cool is that? I'm going to move this to the side and do control D. So we have two of those ready for cutting. Friends, believe it or not, you have just built the components for that awesome project. Now we just need the vertical piece that we crank with. We're going to click on this and do control D because we're going to use it again and again. This one is the longest we make. I need you to type 64 and it needs to be eight in this direction. Notice it's a more sturdy rectangle that way. We're gonna cut a groove out of it once again, saving that part, because we'll use it, so we do Control D. This one has the measurements, 40 by 1.5. We do need to make it a hole, select those two parts, choose a line, click on this one, and we want the middle, and we want the middle. Take those two and do Control G to group them. We need four of those, so we're gonna do Control D. I'm gonna do nudge, 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 no shift this time and then do control D and D. Notice it memorized those nudges, so they're all laid out really nice. I am gonna rotate them 90 degrees just to use my cardboard more efficiently. Let's quickly move this aside. We will use it again. Friends, it is time to bring out a nether cylinder. Once again, move the sides to 64 to make it smooth. Notice this time we chose the solid. Friends, remember we're going to hold shift, stretch it to crazyville, and this time we're going to type 16.25. Friends, that one is super slick because remember these holes are 17. This way there'll be a gap so they spin more easily. I am going to change the height to 4. Because remember, this is created out of cardboard, and I just like it to look like it will when we use it. We need to cut a square in it. We're going to cheat and use this rectangle again. We are going to make this rectangle 8 by 8. Notice you click, type 8, press enter, and we're going to make it a hole. Select those two. Let's press that letter L and align them to the center and the center. And we're going to reuse this again, so just do Control D, Shift Nudge, and we'll leave it alone for a moment. Select those two and do Control G, and bingo, we have got the little washers that are going to go in here. We need four of those, so we can do Control D, Nudge to a spot where they are spread out. Notice I'm going to look at the top and make sure they're not touching, and then do Control D again and again to get them lined up. Notice they did bump into those other parts, so I'm going to just nudge them up out of the way. Right now, we're going to grab our template, and we're going to hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville, and the number that I want you to type is 21 and press enter. Notice that made it higher than 4. We can switch it back real quick, even though it really doesn't matter. It's just for looks. And then we're also going to take the hole, and we're going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to stretch it to Crazyville, but then the number we want to do is 8.2 and press enter. These will be in between the device and the actual crank. Once again, hit L, select them both, center, center. And before we group, we're going to reuse these again as well. So do Control D and move them across as template three. Now we can select those two, do Control G to group them. We need four of these as well. So let's do Control D, nudge it down, Control D. And then we'll go back and do Control D, and we'll put the other one inside there. Smart use of our materials. Let's go back to our templates. This is our last one, so we don't need to make a copy. We do need to hold down Shift and stretch it to Crazyville. And the number we're going to type is 40 and press Enter. Once again, let's change that height to cardboard height. And this also lets us see the hole. We're going to reuse that same hole, choose L for a line. We want to make it to the center and the center. Let's also add a hole out here so it's easier to spin. Hold down shift, squish it, and we're going to type the number 10. And then just move it into place wherever you want. I am going to select them all, do L for a line, and I do want to make sure I have it in the middle. When I've got those where I want, I'm going to do Control G to group. And then, friends, we need two of those, so Control D, move it across. 
And friends, there you have it. All the parts needed for a cardboard cranky. I'm going to get rid of this piece because I don't need it anymore. I'm going to put these side by side. I'm going to take two of these and I'm going to rotate them 90 degrees. I'm going to shift nudge down and over. That looks pretty good. I'm going to take these two and rotate them 90 degrees. Remember, shift rotate is amazing. It goes 45 degrees at a time. Shift nudge, move these down, get them close. And that means I can drag this one right here, move my template out of the way. I'm going to real quickly take these four and bring them down to the bottom. I like that nice straight line. Use shift nudge to get them below. And then these will fit pretty nifty right up here. Now these fit pretty nifty right here. And are you ready for this? Friends, we are going to add one more little part. I want you to do control D on any one of these legs. And I want you to ungroup it because we don't need the hole. But we need this little part for when we're gluing these together. So I'm selecting this, finding the hole, deleting that, and then I'm going to shorten it. We only need it to be about 25 or 30. You can take your pick. These help the space of all these be in the right spot when they're done drying because you cannot put it together all at once. I'm going to do Control D so I have two of those. And then I'm going to select those two and do Control D. And I'm going to move two up here as well. So I've got four of these to work with as we're doing assembly in just a little bit. Rotate 90 degrees. Don't forget that shift rotate so it snaps even faster. So friends, with all the parts in place, I'm going to select them and simply choose export as an SVG for laser cutting. So my friends, I hope you had a ton of fun learning about tabs and cardboard and you're ready to start using those skills to make other awesome Tinkercad laser cutting projects. Friends, make sure you stay tuned. There will be a video where I cut one out and also I'll make sure there are tips for assembly. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.